So this is my record power check I just got. Um, I've used it a couple times and getting a lot of run out. Now this is with the jaws closed tight all the way and you notice jaw 4 between 1 and 4 and 4 and 3 there is this gap. It's kind of blurry. You can see the gap. You can also see it on the inside. Let me try to get the light right here. You can also see it. There we go. You can see it on the inside. Um, the other jaws, and then between um, one and two, there's a slight gap out towards the edge. And then there's obviously a gap between four and three. I checked all of the screws. They're all nice and tight. Made sure that obviously four lines up with four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. And one. I did notice, um, I do know they have to be put in in a certain order. Now, I didn't have to put these in. They were already in the chuck when I received it. Um, with them all the way tight, notice number four that overlaps right there. You can see that where it goes past. Now when I loosen this up all the way, I cannot loosen them up to where these come out with or without the jaws on them. Um, I did I did try, so I'm thinking there's something inside of it, I'm assuming, that keeps these from coming out. I know on my PSI, there, at the bottom of number four, has a pin that keeps uh, these from coming all the way out when you loosen it up. So... I did do an opening video. Um, I didn't upload it because for some reason my phone stopped recording at random spots, but in my video I noticed this when I was putting it together and did make mention in the video, so maybe I will upload that portion of the video. Um, when I run, put the run out indicator on it, I know that this isn't a complete circle when this is all the way closed. I mean, that's that's clear. You can see. Um, but when I run the dial indicator, you know, you should have a uniform um, offset for every jaw. But when I get here, number four, it goes way out and then back down again and then it comes around and it's you know it's the normal but you can clearly see how this jaw isn't even lining up properly so it's wide here then it slowly goes back down to normal and then back out wide again so I'm thinking this is the culprit of my um, wobble as you see my bowl I just uploaded it looks, I mean, that's trying to smooth it out with a scraper after I cut it. It's a dried bowl blank that a friend of mine sent me. Um, I cut the tenon on it and then turned it around. Um, even when I use my wormwood screw with this, um, I get uh, a wobble on it. Not as severe as if I cut a tenon and turn around the piece. So... I put my dial indicator on my spindle. There's no run out, um, nothing to write home about. It's like a hair fraction. Um, and then when I put the dial indicator, it's set up, I haven't moved it. On the adapter, which I got from Woodcraft, I got the check from um, Amazon, I can't remember the seller, and then the adapter from Woodcraft. There's no run out here, and I also put the adapter here and I put or the indicator here this is the adapter here and inside my spindle which there is no run out there as well 
and I also put the um, dial indicator on the outside of the spindle here because this is the adapter. Adapter's sitting nice and flush. Um, tightened that down really good. There is no um, gaps, no washers, no debris. Um, I wiped everything down before attaching it. Same with the inside of the chuck. I wiped everything down. Looks dusty in the back part here because obviously I used it, but the threads are clean. Everything sits nice and flush. Um, and you can see where the spindle is hitting the very bottom of the inside of the chuck. So it looks like it's seating in there. Um, I'm assuming properly. So that's that. Hopefully I can uh, really like the chuck. It's a nice heavy duty feeling. Um, I noticed too, I'm not sure, when I tighten and loosen this, it is stiffer than most chucks that I've had before. I mean, the stiffness I don't mind. It makes it feel nice and secure and tight, but when I loosen it or tighten it, it's not a smooth loosen or tighten. It's stiff. So, Billy, I know you said you had you and I got ours about the same time. Um, respond and let me know if yours is stiff when you turn it. Um, it's just not, it, it's not loose like any other chuck that I've had. And I've had a lot of them, folks. <laughs> so hopefully I can get this one exchanged and maybe that's the reasoning for my wobble. Um, in this light you can kind of see how it's off here. Look here. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the phone in the check with the same hand so it's hard for me to point it out. Yep, see you can see it with that light. I'll turn it here. It is slightly, slightly, ever so slightly off but not much on that one. And here you can definitely see there's a difference in the gap between these two. Um, and of course these, you know, you screw these on, there is no positioning them. You just screw them down, tighten them. I gave them a good not too tight, obviously, you don't want to strip those screws, um, but they're not loose by any means. I went back through and checked them all again. Um, so I don't know. Anybody have experience, advice, return it, defective? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.